the tension between Islamic nations and Sweden is about to heighten more. Reports have emerged that more people have applied for permissions to stage protests where they intend to burn Quran. Attack on the Quran in Sweden and Denmark have offended many Muslim countries including Turkey whose backing Sweden needed to join NATO. Turkey had said that it had no objections to Sweden joining the powerful military alliance subject to certain provisos. In the wake of the reports of more people submitting applications to burn Quran, the Swedish Prime Minister Ulf Kristersson is on the edge. He has said that he is extremely worried about the consequences if more demonstrations go ahead in which the Quran is desecrated amid growing Muslim anger at a series of attacks on Islam's holy book. He also said that granting permissions for any protest is not his call and that the decision whether to grant permission for the demonstrations was up to the Swedish police. The Swedish authorities also claim that Russia is using this opportunity to create rift between Sweden and other Islamic nations. Few days back, the Swedish prime minister and other Swedish officials had said that the country had been the target of a disinformation campaign in which Russia-backed actors had attempted to damage the country's image by implying that it actually supported the burnings. Swedish security service has kept its assessment of the threat level at 3 on a scale of 5, signifying an elevated threat during the crisis. Denmark and Sweden have said that they deplore the burning of the Quran but cannot prevent it under rules protecting free speech. The Swedish government is facing a difficult balancing act in defending far-reaching freedom of speech laws while at the same time avoiding potential insult to Muslims. Its position has not been made any easier by the anti-immigration Sweden Democrats party whose support keeps the right of center coalition in power although it is not formally a part of the government. Members of the Sweden Democrats, the biggest party on the right, have repeatedly warned about the Islamization of Swedish society and called for immigrants to adopt Swedish values. If more Qurans are burnt in the coming days, the relationship of Sweden and Denmark with other Islamic nations will certainly worsen. That can potentially have huge cascading effects in Sweden and in the rest of the world.